Thank you for your interest in the proposed Hamilton County Shooting Complex. This is a proposal uh, put together by the Friends of Hamilton County Youth Shooting, which is a 501c3 uh, corporation. We established this uh, organization uh, back in August of 2010 as a result of the phenomenal um, um, interest in youth shooting programs throughout Hamilton County. Foxfire Trap Team, which was, is a, uh, was started out as a Hamilton C County high school sport, uh, started five years ago uh, with uh, 13 kids uh, in their program. This last year we had over 50, 50 children and have expanded it also to the junior high program with hopes in the future of adding fifth and sixth graders. This uh, uh, exposure to athletic sports shooting has, um, uh, has been uh, viral with uh, our children of, of the county. Our four, local 4-H program has said that there's many kids involved in bow shooting, archery, uh, air rifle shooting, and various other sports, including other types of shotgun shooting, as a direct result of the work that Foxfire has done. It became imperative to our to many of us in Hamilton County that this was a sport that definitely needed to be tapped into. So we started the Friends of Hamilton County Youth Shooting uh, Program to offer a variety of means to uh, expose to shoot, uh, uh, young children to youth competitive shooting in in in, in multiple disciplines. One of our main goals is to uh, form a formal uh, shooting complex within the county. Currently, the only place to sh uh, for shotgun competitive shooting is in Saline County, Jefferson County, and Wayne County on a limited basis, all uh, within th with over 30 miles travel distance for most of our children. Our board of directors is set up as such. Uh, we are composed of local competitive shooters, local business people, people from our school, uh, people from our local law enforcement organizations, and of course business owners and entrepreneurs who would like to see uh, this as a, uh, 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 the shooting complex to be developed as a, as a potential tourism impact for the community. going to kind of give you a drawing of what it looks like right now for shooting complexes throughout uh, and around uh, Hamilton County. We're proposing to first off to put in a 200 yard rifle range. There's not a 200 yard rifle range within 450 miles of Hamilton County. And as you can imagine, uh, shooting a rifle with in, in, at 200 yard distances would, would be very uh, difficult at many places even throughout the county, as flat as the county is, and, and not uh, places for backdrops and berms. Also proposing to put in a 50 yard pistol range that uh, are not only uh, local state police at District 19, but also our local police departments uh, in both Hamilton County and surrounding counties have said that they would like to have that to, to do their practice range on them so that they can have different visualizations and different um, opportunities to, to practice. Uh, archery is one of the, the fastest growing sports uh, in the nation right now, especially competitive shooting as, as well as hunting. We're proposing to put in a three-dimensional archery range with um, uh, stations that simulate um, not only a deer stand but blinds, blind shooting also to prepare people for the upcoming hunting seasons. Of course, we would like to add in four, four trap houses and one skeet range. Uh, these would be opened up for competitive shooting through the National Skeet Associations and the American Trap Associations to bring in competitive shooting to our county on a regular basis. And to uh, make this a completely family-oriented um, um, program and, and, and give experience to everybody, we're looking at putting in a, a nice clubhouse and a pavilion for shade and picnics that can be used outside of the, the shooting area. Currently, there are uh, only six ranges within 30 minutes from McLeansboro, and all of them are very limited. The uh, uh, range at 10 Mile Creek State and Fish Wildlife Area is the only shooting range act that actually is currently resides within the county at this time. However, it's very restrictive. It has a 100-yard range and, and pistol range, and it's very restrictive on its use because it is a state-run property. 
The Carmile Rifle and Pistol Club in Cro Crossville has a nice range. However, it's limited to 100, 100 uh, yards or less, and, and they specifically do target uh, pistol shooters more than anything. The Rin Lake Shooting Complex uh, near Benton, Illinois, is um, uh, only open for trap and skeet and five-stand shooting. And this is currently where uh, many of the local high school and junior high teams uh, do practice for trap shooting, including uh, Hamilton County Foxfire. Outback Sporting Clays and Fairfield Gun Club uh, are both uh, areas that, that trap shooting and skeet can take place with limited pistol shooting, but they have limited number of trap houses, in fact one at each that we can actually use. Then Goshen Trail Long Rifles is only a 100-yard uh, rifle range uh, in Jefferson County. At more of a distance, we have several ranges uh, uh, available uh, to us, with the most notable one being the World Shooting and Rec Complex in Sparta, Illinois. Uh, but this uh, uh, particular uh, facility, though it's the world's largest facility of its kind, um, and is host to many uh, national, international, and state events uh, on a regular basis. It is over 90 minutes from us, uh, so that it would be a three-hour round trip to do any type of practice or competitive shooting. Very difficult for the youth shooters. We're giving uh, this example of what a layout of a proposed range would be. We selected a sample location, uh, which is a uh, former mine property, uh, which is southeast of, of McLeansboro, roughly uh, uh, four miles uh, driving distance from the center of town. This is an overview of the land. As you can see, one thing that we look for uh, with development of a, uh, of a range is a considerable distance from uh, houses and, and to have places that the full range can be developed. Typically, the area uh, that we look at for the complex that we're looking at typically has a shooting range and then the availability of, of, of shot fall range uh, behind that to where the lead, lead shot and what have you can, can fall outside the trap and skeet ranges. This particular proposal um, demonstrates that this range can be conducted on 40 acres uh, 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 at, that, at, at this design. It could be uh, hypothetically done on 25 acres as long as the additional 15 or what have you was uh, leased uh, for uh, use for the shot fall to, 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 be, to be placed. But again, we, we caution landowners and that type of thing because that is lead that will be um, uh, placed out on the field and of course it needs to be uh, reaccumulated um, for, uh, if not annually uh, every two years. This is a proposal for the range to be as compact as we possibly can in order to um, uh, facilitate all the uh, systems that we're looking at, at putting in. At the top, uh, you can see the four trap ranges uh, with the fourth one on the right also being a dual purpose range uh, hosting a skeet house. Directly behind that and to the bottom uh, would be the 50 yard pistol and air gun range and then directly behind that and below is the 200-yard rifle range, of course, that could be set up in, in, in any increment up to 200 yards to facilitate high-powered rifle shooting. Uh, in the middle uh, is, uh, is where we would look at putting uh, the 3D bow range. It's something that definitely has a lot of character and a lot of depth to it, and it's very interesting and eye-appealing to when people drive up. So we want to put it close to the pavilion and the clubhouse so that people can uh, take an interest in, and see um, all the, the, the unique uh, uh, shooting opportunities that the, that the archers can have in that particular area. This is a hypothetical that we look at. This is an open field uh, that, it, like I said, is currently owned by uh, uh, mine, uh, 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 reclaimed mine property, uh, or property that is going to be reclaimed mine property in, in Hamilton County. Uh, this particular um, site, you know, is, is definitely needs uh, to be um, upworked, and it could look very similar to this uh, uh, particular rendition over time. As you can see, uh, it has ample parking, a, a clubhouse, and it's very appealing uh, to not only uh, shooters and users of the facility, but also to families to come and picnic and share in their family fun. 
This particular area is just an open range, but it could easily be, uh, with a little landscaping work, could have the berms drug from all around and, and brought in to protect uh, shooters uh, and, 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 and nearby people from from uh, high-powered rifle shooting. This particular berm is a design that's used in, in virtually all uh, 100 and 200 yard rifle ranges uh, throughout the nation. And of course, uh, the highlight of our uh, facility was would be able to host a, uh, a pavilion that overlooks our trap houses and gives the uh, a shooter a, a unique experience with proper lighting uh, for nighttime shooting and evening shooting as well as early morning shooting also. Uh, it's ideal if the trap range uh, faces to the north uh, because it would be able to be used uh, throughout the entire shooting year for and would not and it would be affected very minimally from the sun's um, uh, uh, dust to dawn. Our target market for this particular facility is, of course, use would be our, our, our number one uh, promotion of facilities, but it would definitely be open to the public and through memberships uh, uh, for adults and other shooting organizations. And of course, community organizations can uh, use our facility, too, on a rental-type basis. Our geographic target area that we'd be looking at if, is in the, the innermost circle is 30 minutes. We'd be looking for those areas to be our most uh, conducive to bringing in memberships and individual and family memberships uh, to participate uh, in the shooting complex. And then outside that, the 60 to 90 minute range is where that we would be doing our marketing uh, when we host our various competitions in our various shooting disciplines. Our target membership for the very first year, and, and by all uh, practical purposes, this is a very conservative number, but it kind of gives you an idea on, on, on how that we are looking at, at, at doing our mix of, of membership. We're looking at having roughly uh, 75 uh, youth uh, members. We're looking at having uh, roughly 7,500 sportsmen. And then local competitive shooters that, um, uh, that are amateur shooters, uh, we look at bringing in around 30 of those to be additional members. And of course, one of the growing, um, most growing um, uh, aspects of all, uh, of all uh, shooting uh, sports is, is, of course, with females. Women are more and more are, are taking on the uh, areas that uh, were uh, in the past have been uh, sought after mainly by men. But women are seeing it that the, the, it's not only a good uh, defensive use of, of their time and learning how to uh, defensively handle uh, various types of firearms, but they're also getting very much more involved in hunting and other types of sports activities, including competitive shooting. Of course, uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't uh, uh, make a, a due notation of the tourism impact. With uh, uh, a, a shooting range that could be uh, put on a, on, uh, within de a decent proximity of McLeansboro, Illinois, the tourism impact uh, could impact uh, the, the city and, and, and surrounding uh, villages and cities to, to some extent by hosting uh, competitions. And of course, the American Trap Shooting Association it would be very simple for us to host uh, uh, monthly shoots here that could bring in um, uh, competitive uh, shooters from outside the county as well as skeet shooting and other youth sports activities. The 3D archery range, if, if, if we are able to, uh, to build this out at to the extent that needs to be done to attract the most shooters, this uh, particular range could uh, uh, bring people in from coast to coast. And then, of course, uh, other uh, up-and-coming uh, youth uh, sport uh, shooting activities that are very um, um, a bit trendy right now, but are but are definitely taking on a, a lot of um, uh, new shooters is the steel challenge, pistol shooting, and air gun competitions. This is a, an idea of annual attendance uh, uh, that we would be able to expect. 
uh, from uh, non non-member activities per se. Um, again, we look at the memberships to to help sustain it on a monthly basis and help us uh, with some of our uh, monthly expenses and what have you. But but to truly Im to have a shooting complex that has impact, we need to be able to bring in um, uh, competitions and training and day use and, and site rentals uh, from uh, from not only within the county but outside the county. We would have at least three uh, youth shooting competitions uh, based upon our competitions that we have throughout southern Illinois right now that we could easily have an uh, annual attendance of 450. Uh, with recent uh, information that we just received for this upcoming shooting year, we, this, uh, we might change this slide uh, in the next few weeks to over 700 uh, children involved with this program. We could host six uh, American Trap Shooting Association registered shoots throughout the year, bringing in around 300 uh, shooters. The st uh, we could have two steel challenges uh, done to bring in youth shooters and adult shooters as well. That would bring in another 100 in attendance. And as you can see, uh, through, there's very many organizations that, that, that would um, uh, see this as a, not only a fundraising opportunity, We've had, um, uh, I know personally myself, I've attended uh, fundraisers for Elks and, and Kiwanis clubs and different things like that at local shooting ranges to help be a, a fundraiser for their particular programs. And, of course, we would open our uh, uh, facility up to that same type of, of, of concept. Uh, and then, of course, uh, day use and other types of training use, not only by uh, law enforcement, but for women's training. Um, uh, there's a very um, uh, distinct possibility that with uh, uh, Illinois being the last and final state to allow concealed carry in the state of Illinois, that there's a very much of a push to, to get that um, um, approved through uh, the state legislature uh, within, within the next uh, year. If that moves forward, they're, they're estimating that there will be over 450,000 um, people in the state of Illinois who will be seeking uh, training and permits to uh, conceal carry. And of course, our facility could be one of those uh, des uh, designated uh, areas that we could offer that, that type of training. Now we'll look at the building and site plan uh, for capital costs to build out this particular venture. One thing that is uh, very much um, indicative of shooting complexes of this nature, in fact, it's if you uh, did a survey of shooting ranges and complexes nationwide, you would find that the cost of the land has to be zeroed out. Uh, if there's any type of amortization uh, required or any type of leasing fee uh, involved for rental of land or property, typically a shooting complex does not cash flow. So keeping that in mind, we're looking at the facility as we proposed in this visualization. Uh, uh, we've had it uh, build out to approximately $167,500. Of that um, particular amount of funds, uh, many local um, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, local farmers, and local people interested in seeing that this um, uh, shooting complex does uh, come to fruition have indicated that they would be willing to uh, contribute a significant amount of this uh, to, to, to construction, both in cash and in-kind work. And then secondly, there are organizations that will help uh, with grant funding of this type of facility, none that will help with uh, acquisition of land, but several that will acquisition with purchase of equipment and building, uh, such as the National Rifle Association and the National uh, Sports Shooting Association are two that come to mind. We thank you for uh, your time with this presentation and, and hope that uh, you could um, uh, take considerations for helping us uh, uh, not only secure land uh, uh, for this particular property as we feel that we can uh, do the building out ourselves. But we're definitely looking for uh, a, a, a plot of land that would adequately uh, suffice for, for, this, um, for this promotion, for this development. Um, if you would like to, uh, more information or would like to discuss this further, please contact uh, Todd Tracy, President of the Friends of Hamilton County Youth Shooting. His number is 618-237-2407. That's Todd Tracy at 618-237-2407.
2407. Thank you very much for your time.